Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and her clothes. So today I have a stitch fix. You'll have to excuse my lighting. The last couple days uh, I just have not had time to uh, try on during the daytime and I have to do this either before or after work. And even my ring light, my house gets so dark, even my ring light doesn't cover it. So I got my ring light on and then I also have my overhead lights on. So you'll have to excuse in how this looks. Stitch Fix is a styling service. You pay them a $20 styling fee, keep what you want, send back what you don't. Shipping is pr free both ways. I have the styling pass. I can have an un unlimited number of fixes and I can ask one for every two weeks, get a box, and if I don't like anything, I can just ship it all back with absolutely no cost to me. So for that reason, I get quite a few stitch fixes. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm not going to go through the usual of showing you the items. I'm going to try them on just because I'm kind of short of time today. So up first is this uh, lush top. It's called the Naomi Square Neck Crop Knit Top in dark green, and it's in a size small. My stylist knows to size up in lush tops for me. They're more of a junior brand. It's $40. It's 95% polyester, 5% is elastane. Okay, let's talk about this top. It's got a cuff sleeve balloon. It is that stretchy uh, polyester uh, knit, all right? Just so you know that. It's not the stiff kind of polyester. It is like the kind of stretchy polyester. It's got a very wide square neck and your bra does show depending on the bra that you choose. Um, so for that, I'm probably not going to keep it, but it's not a bad top, to be honest with you. I was expecting a lot worse, to be honest, but, uh, when I received it, it's not bad. It has the ruching in the front, which makes it kind of forgiving. It's crop style, but because I'm short, nothing rises up on me. Plus, not to mention, I did size up on this. I'm going to have to check out the back. I have a feeling my little love handles here are on display. <laughs> But uh, I think that I'm going to return this. I mean, there's no, actually, it's not a bad little top for 40 bucks. If you're looking for a cute little night out or cute, you know, girl's day with your friends, this is not a bad top. Um, but it's just not a love for me. And the fact that I'd always have to be worried about what bra I wear with it and be like this and pull it up. I'm just not, you know, anxious to add this to my wardrobe. But I, I don't think it's a bad top at all. Okay, so here's the front of it and the back of it and give me a minute and I'll pop on the next top. Okay, up next is another Lush top. The Lush Cosenza Mock Neck Cutout Detail Knit Top in red, size, four, size small for $44. Okay, the fabric on this is 91% polyester, 9% elastane, and I'll come close and you'll see that it's kind of textured. And I'm sorry, but this, this, even though it's the same type of material and the same brand, this one seems like uber cheap material to me. I do not like the material on this one. For whatever reason, I feel that it's a different quality of material than the other one. It's, it just, yeah, no. So <laughs> it has the, the cuff sleeves here that kind of have like a balloon style effect to them, if you can see. It has an enormous cutout that shows way too much cleavage for my liking. I would have to like, Pinch it up about an inch, because I'm probably flashing you. I do like the mock style neck. I do like that. I do like a cutout. It's just, I think because I'm short, the, the cutout is longer. If you were taller and have a longer torso, which I have a very short torso, this might not be bad on you. It's the fact that I am short. Um, and then here's the back of it, and it's a crop style, but again, because I'm a shorty and it was sized up, it fits me fine in the length. Um, and this one is definitely a no. I don't like the quality of this one. Plus it's way too plunging for me. All right, give me the minute. I'll try on the next item. Okay. Up next is the Evolution by Cyrus Spofford Color Block Hoodie. All right. In dark green, size extra small for $64. This top is 80% rayon, 20% nylon. It is a sporty style. It has a hood, which I'll try on because I know some people like the hood. So here's the hood. Remember, I'm short with a small head, so the hood's quite large on me. 
Uh, the sleeves are a perfect length for me, which is highly unusual. It's dark green, and I'll come closer so you can see, with a regular, um, I guess, ribbing, whereas the contrast, the gray, as you can see, it's a waffle knit. So this whole area is waffle knit, the hood is waffle knit, and this contrast here on the sleeves is waffle knit. Now, um, I like the quality of this. This is a nice quality. I like the style. I actually had this on my Pinterest board, but I wanted a different colorway. I was looking at the mint and green light sleeves and thought it would be a cute like transition to spring top. Um, I'm not fond of this kind of color contrast. I think the light green would look better. And for that reason, I'm sending it back, but I do like this top. Like if this came in with the, the mint green sleeves, I would have kept it, all right? But I guess that was not available and she saw this one and she sent it to me. So I do like this. Um, I think it'd be great for transition. Just to also let you know, as I'm realizing as I'm wearing this, it has the, the rounded hem with the curve back, okay? So great top. Um, just, I don't care for the color contrast. If it were the mint green, I think I would like it better. All right, give me a minute and I'll pop on the next item. Okay, I got on the last top, which is a very cute top. This top is by Velvet and Graham. It is the Velvet, and Gra Velvet by Graham and Spencer, the Sammy off the shoulder black top. All right, size extra small, $114. Now, I don't mind paying a little extra for something special. I am not afraid to go into that $100 price point, but I just don't think this is it. I mean, I do like it. It's, it's basically 93% cotton, 7% elastane, so it is mostly cotton. It is kind of uh, form-fitting and snug, but I'm not so sure I would size up in this one because it is kind of more of a date night look. Um, and I think if I sized up, it wouldn't look it would kind of look sloppy, I think. So regardless, I would not keep it because it's just not special enough for me to pay this price. So here is the back. Again, I think it's a nice top. Um, if you don't blink an eye at $114, go for it. <laughs> but for me, I have to be a little bit more conscious of my budget and where I spend my money, especially for something that I won't be wearing that often. Alrighty, I have one item left and it's a dress and it's gonna have to wait until I'm on my lunch break. So you'll see this seamlessly, but it'll be a few hours for me. So take care and give it a few. Okay, my last item is this dress. So this is a slip dress, something that I don't know and I was kind of wanting to try one and see how it looks on me. This is the 41 Hawthorne Maya Stretch Satin Midi Slip Dress in Burgundy a size extra small petite for $72. This is a line dress. Um, you know, I didn't check the label for you, but um, I can almost guarantee you it's 100% polyester. I don't even think there's stretch in this. When it was an extra small petite, I was worried, oh God, it's not gonna fit over these hips and it's gonna be like clinging to these hips, but there is plenty of room in these hips. Now, one thing I do have to say, it is lined, but this thing is so staticky. It is like clinging to me left and right. Um, I'm going to look back at the footage, but my initial view in the mirror oh, says this dress looks awful on me. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't have a waist and I have to have like a tie. I tied it tighter to give me some waist. But meanwhile, it makes my hips look enormous. At least that was my view of the mirror. Again, I will look at the footage and make that determination. Here is the back of it. Obviously, I'm wearing a strapless bra with it. If you have the style that you look good in a, midi, in a dress without a defined waist or a slip dress, I, I would recommend this. I don't think the price is that outrageous. And it's like a, a nice like formal dress if you have like a wedding or something to go to. I think this is something very unique that I have not yet seen from Stitch Fix. So I'm excited that it was given to me and to try on. Um, it does come to right below my knee. so. Uh, a little bit shorter than midi length, maybe like two inches below my knee. Usually I would consider my, my center cap more as a midi length. But yeah, I like this dress. I just don't think it looks very flattering on me. And I don't think $72 is a bad price for it. But I will look back at the footage and make that determination. Um, do I have a place to wear it? No, but it's always good to have a nice dress on hand. I have two. I have two black dresses like little black dresses. I don't have anything else for a more formal event if I ever have to go to one. So it'd be nice to have something else other than those two, but again, not needed. All right, 
that is my fix. What do you think? I'm kind of excited about this because this is something completely different and new to me. Uh, I like to try on different things and see how they look. Thank you again for returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. Give this channel, sorry, give this video a thumbs up and click that notification bell to get notified of future videos from me. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Take care and until next time.